You know, those beams you just dodged used to be directly related to the split technology program. Yep, those bad boys used to split you right in half, and let me tell you, they made a clean cut. A little too clean, if you ask me. In fact, we had to discontinue the original beams for fear they may end up splitting an atom. No worries, though. A little more testing, and we think it'll make a great shaving product. Fantastic news, Ford 52. Recently, we got the green light to go forward with our in-office daycare program. Now, unlike most offices that enact this type of policy, we're not ones to waste money on children. So we brought them on as unpaid interns instead. The numbers are in, and I'm pleased to say the kids are actually doing better work than their parents. Which brings me to the bad news. Unfortunately, we don't retain dead weight at this company. We've decided to end employment contracts for some of our longtime employees in favor of a younger, cheaper alternative. Please join me in silence as we wish them good luck in their future endeavors.
another update for you, 452. Due to recent internal backlash and general uncleanliness, we've decided to end the washrooms are for paying customers only policy. After careful review, we realized we don't actually sell anything, thereby barring anyone from using the facilities. That being said, regardless of how many people sign the in-office petition going around, we will not be budging on our decision for an actual washroom to be built.
As you drop these boxes, they should pop back into your hands. Of course, that'll only happen if you miss the target. Now that I say it, it seems silly of me to have told you that. It's you. Of course you'll miss.
452, I wanted to let you know that I've seen myself as a bit of a guardian to you during your time here. Even though your co-subjects are smarter, faster, and better looking, it doesn't mean I don't have any respect for you. It just means I have a lot less.